Hi guys, it's Mary with Stamps and Lingers, and it is, um, oh boy, I guess it's, it is Saturday night at 7 p.m. Eastern, so we are going to have us a little video tutorial. So, give me one second, let me be sure that I'm transmittalating over here. Oh, I see a screen popping up, that's a very good sign, very good sign, alrighty, good, here we go, and people are coming on, yay, hello everybody, appreciate you joining, I hope you had a wonderful, wonderful Thanksgiving um, socially distanced, of course, with your masks went between bites, certainly. Um, but, uh, yeah, I hope you had a good time and have recovered from the food coma. Hey, Debbie. Hi, Lynn. Hey, Mary. <clears throat> hey, Julie. Appreciate you joining. Hi, Pam. Jerry, Carol, Jean, Vicki, Jewel. Wow, people getting on quick. I guess you, uh, were looking for a card today. Hi, Alicia. Hi, Pam. Alrighty, so let's get started. Um, I wanted to come up with some brand new fun fold and I just, I don't have any, I didn't have any creative mojo. I just didn't have it. I, I'm, it might've been a food coma. I'm not sure. So I went with one that I know and love my favoriteest favorite, the double easel card here. And I've made myself a little Christmas vignette with the coming home bundle. That's the coming home stamp set with the bundled home together dies. And because it is an image only stamp set, I added a couple of sentiments from the itty bitty Christmas set. All right, and then this is what you get. So you can see how it kind of lays out. It's kind of hard to see it like that, isn't it? Here, I'll, I'll pretend like I'm making a little floor. And then of course on the inside we have from our house to yours. So perfect for Christmas and it's super easy. I do love this fold, um, mostly because it looks really tough but it is so very easy to put together. You can almost do it without even thinking about it, which is kind of fun when we're as busy as we are going into the holidays, right? So you can make a wow card really easy peasy. All right, all of these uh, die cuts and card cuts and whatnot will be on my blog tomorrow, so worry thee not. I have a uh, poppy parade piece of cardstock, which is my card base, and it is a regular four and a quarter by 11. Hey Rosie, hi Julie, thank you. Appreciate that, hi Mary. And then this is the Misty Moonlight piece, is the piece that becomes both the mat for the card front and the double easel mechanism. So this is four inches by 10 inches. And I'm going to do a little bit of scoring right quick when I pick up my stylus that fell on the floor. Alrighty, so I'm going to first go at four and a quarter along the long side, or I'm sorry, sorry, that's five and a quarter. That is distinctly a five, not fuzzy math or anything. It's just a five. And then again at seven and five eighths. And I've just created my double easel while I've got it out. Let's go ahead and um, cut this at five and a half. Okay. So there we go. There's our card front and we can put Mr. S Simply Scored away because he is done for a minute. Actually, he's done for the whole thing unless I bork something, which is certainly possible. Okay, so when you fold this, you're gonna fold these opposite each other to create the, um, the easel. So let's fold the four and a quarter inwardly like so, and then we'll turn and fold the other piece down as suchly suchly and thusly and there you have it you've just made your fun fold done okay easy and also quite peasy really and then you can decorate it however you want so to start with I took a piece of the um, trimming the town DSP and I cut out kind of a you know mountainy scene and we're gonna go ahead and glue this on with a little bit of liquid glue just a little bit so did y'all do turkey and ham and all of the fixings this year, or did you go kind of easy with fewer people? What what was the deal? What did everybody do for Thanksgiving this year? I know what we did, and I pretty much shared that with you like you really cared, but I did anyway. So what did y'all do? I hope you had a good time. I hope if you were able to see family that you were able to do it safely enough to feel comfortable. And to get a lot of good elbow bumps in, right? Okay, so I, then I have two smaller pieces with just trees on them, and I'm putting those on the two small panels of the easel. Hey, Nancy, appreciate you joining. Alrighty. 
Oh, I wanted to tell you, so for some reason, and I just posted this on my Facebook page, I don't know if you saw it, for some reason my email stuck the notice from Stampin' Storage today that they were having a one day only small business Saturday, small business Saturday sale today. And um, so yeah, I totally missed it, but they've got several stamp shelves on, on additional sales. So they're on 20% off. It's the stamp case shelf, the slimline case shelf, the mega shelf, and one other shelf. I did post it, but it's 20% off, and for orders over $75, they're sending a free couple of gifts with it. And that's in addition to the free shipping over 100 So if you are in need of any stamp shelves, and I'm actually looking at mine because I'm like, man, I think I need a shelf to deal with the transition period in the catalog stage. The catalog transition period is hard. Okay, so there we go. I've just put, that's all I've done is put DSP on pretty easy and peasy. Okay, so now let's look at what I have cut. Using the little trees. Oh, I'm so glad, Amy, that you're really liking it. I'm really, cons I'm thinking I need that Ikea set, but I just can't bring myself to do it right now. Okay, so using this edgelet die, I'm calling it an edgelet because, well, that's what it does. I cut two snow drifts from Whisper White, and you can see, um, really, it's just this side of one and then this side of another. And they're three and seven eighths inches wide and then kind of various heights. But I wanted this one to stick right up to or just over my my fold okay so this is how it's going to sit on my card front and then let me show you a really cool thing about this trimming the town dsp so do you see this little piece right here i took and i put this a whole size this whole size on a piece of adhesive sheet and then i adhered it to a piece of Whisper White cardstock. You can see the DSP sticking up here because my DSP was 12 inches and my cardstock was 11 and a half, right? Or 11. So I put it on the, actually I put it on the cardstock and then I peeled back the cover and then I put the DSP on top of it. Then I used the matching dies in the, in the uh, Home Together die set and I cut out some of these sweet little houses. Now, why did I do all of that? Well, because I wanted sweet little houses. Also, wait a minute, let me put this back. It's like a little puzzle. There we go. Also, because this card, if you were, you know, looking around, you can see the back of my die cuts, right? So by putting the Whisper White on the back, they're just plain instead of having whatever that background is which might not have been terrible but you know why not make it a little tidier if you can right okay now let me show you what i cut i have so i've got my two snow drifts and then i have a two-story house i believe that's a salt box house and then i have a little more cabiny looking house and I had this ginormous house, and I really love this ginormous house, but it's really just too ginormous. I mean, I suppose I could put it there, but it would it was going to start to look like a metropolitan area. Okay, and I just thought that was silly. And then I cut a couple of little trees. Little trees. I cut three trees. I think I only need, or I cut four trees, three littles and a big. And I think I really am only going to use the three like I did on the first one. But, you know, you never know. You never know what I'm going to do. You just don't. Okay, so I'm going to take this first piece, which is the larger piece, and I'm going to adhere it to that front panel with a little bit of liquid glue. Okay? Easy and peasy. It's still easy peasy, right? No problem. Actually, there's not going to ever get to it. The way I said that made it sound like any second now it's going to get hard. It's not. Um, it's totally not. Okay, now I'm going to take this tall one, and I'm going to put him right about there. And I'm going to find my tweezers. Where are you, tweezers? There you are. Then I'm going to put this big tree next to him, I think. Like so. And then I'm going to put my cabin right about here. 
and then this final snow drift will go over the top. So I'm creating some depth, right? I think I'm gonna put this up here more like that. And I'm gonna put this behind that tree like so there we go put that tree there now if you guys are are you guys laughing at me right now i think you must be i don't know i just made that up if you're laughing at me i'm not looking because i'm busy putting my trees on with my tozers okay there we go and then that's going to go over the top like that now what i do want is i want this house down far enough that the front of the house this line is covered by that snow drift I don't know why, I just do, okay? And it's my card, so that's how it's gonna be. Just throwing that out there, okay? So let me pick those two things up, just like that. Little trees, the really cute little trees. There you go, Alicia, exactly, exactly. It makes them a little sturdier, as well as being tidy. It comes from, I guess, my, my, uh, my mother taught me when we were learn when I was learning to cross stitch. She, I think she probably was born knowing how to cross stitch. But when I was learning, she taught me that the back of your piece needs to look as nice as the front, right? So you keep the back tidy. So if you can keep the back tidy, keep the back tidy. I'm just saying, what's the worst that could happen? Somebody goes, oh my gosh, look at how tidy that back is. And then we'll just put our tree on here like that. What I like is when you do this, then you get you get like a little scene when the easel stands up. <laughs> I like little scenes. I don't particularly like creating a scene, but I like making little scenes, if that even makes sense. Okay, now I'm gonna put this little guy on. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my other snowdrift over the top of this so that I can just be sure I get it exactly where I want it. Just like that. All right. There we go. Okay. Now he can just sit there and think about what he's done for a minute and dry. And while he is doing that, I'm going to cover that and I'm going to stamp my little itty bitty sentiment on here. So I'm using Christmas cheer and it's itty bitty, which makes sense considering, you know, the name of the set is itty bitty. And here we go. We're doing Poppy Parade. Just by the way, this is like one of my favorite colors ever. Don't forget when you're using a, a cling stamp, it's always a good idea to give a little practice stamp because the straightness of the stamp is a factor of how well you put that sticker on and how good a job the manufacturer did uh, stamping the or uh, carving the image or the sentiment into the piece of rubber. And then it helps if you have your piece of cardstock straight. And then we're just going to go right there. Don't rock the boat. Don't rock the boat, baby. Rock the boat. Don't rock the boat, baby. Okay, there we go. I did not rock the boat, baby. So there it is. Okay, now I'm going to put some dimensionals. Dimensionales on the back of this and pop that right on top of the card and it's going to be that's going to be kind of about it i'm going to put those trees on and then that's going to be pretty that will be as they say in the industry that will be that no they don't say that they say that's a wrap there it is they say that's a wrap yep yeah, we got all the film people here moving in and that's good for the economy. It does have some downsides, as you might imagine. Okay, so I'm just going to pop this right on. There we go. All right. Now, I'm going to take a couple of these little trees right here. And I'm going to put them on this little truss right here. Like that. Okay. And this is a bigger tree than this, but I'm going to put it down a little bit, and so it's going to cover up that white tree and give a little more depth. Oops. Oops. Did you see that? Did you see that thing just jump off my hand like that? 
Goodness. Okay, now, while it's drying, I probably ought to cut, close this up because that was like just looking for an accident. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some, uh, all the trimmings embellishment, one of these little bumblebee stars, and I'm going to put it where you would put a star, right, in your attic window. There we go, like that. Easy peasy. And then I'm going to take some adhesive backed snowflakes and I'm going to snowflake it. I'm going to snowflake this bugger. I'm just going to snowflake it and snowflake it and snowflake it. I'm going to go crazy with the snowflakes. First, I'm going to put a snowflake right here like that. Okay. Then I'm just going to start putting snowflakes because it's, it's, it's snowing. You know how when it snows, but it doesn't ever really reach the ground very much. That's what it's doing here. Just kind of <clears throat> blizzarding along. Just a blizzard. A little blizzard here, a little blizzard there. It's a happy little blizzard. Oh gosh, now you got me thinking Bob Ross. Goodness, what have you done to me? <sighs> I've been really enjoying reading everybody's um, comments about what they are thankful for this season. It's good to know that people are st <clears throat> still finding things to be grateful for. I'm liking that because this has been a tough year, right? So I'm happy that y'all are happy people and feeling grateful for what we have. Regardless of the turmoil, we are in fact still the bestest, greatest place to live that there is. And we will get our hands around COVID. I know we will. Okay, and that is the card front. Done. Done and done, and done and done and done. Okay, now let's uh, go ahead and, so here's a tip that I obviously didn't do since I'm doing it right now. It is actually easier to adhere this to the card front before you have all your decorations on it. It's not impossible to do it like this, but it is, do it is easier if you do it before you've got all the decor on, just saying. So don't be like me. Once you get your DSP onto your easel, like step 17 ago, just go ahead and put it on your card front. And you just center it up just like it was a, just a matted piece of DSP and not some special kind of card. Okay? There, just like that. Whew. It's a good thing I was able to do that because I was a little scared. Of okay, now I'm just going to take a Whisper White panel and going to put from our house to yours from itty bitty christmas in poppy parade poppy parade all right let's see what we got here got pretty straight i'll take it i'll take it bob and there we go be sure not to rock it because i got ink right there and that would have i'd have had to use that second side Dang it. Thanks, Pam. Thank you, Zana. Appreciate it. Did I say that right, Zana? Zana or Zana? I am sorry if I screwed that up. All right. Now I'm going to take some pool party. And there's a little tiny image in the coming home set. And it's little tiny snowflakes. So I'm going to put little tiny snowflakes all around my sentiment. And maybe even on top of my sentiment. Now you kind of have to be careful because, you know, you can get carried away. I never get carried away. That's just not how I roll. Said me never. I always get carried away. But that's okay. I'm going to get a little carried away here because I really like these little duos quite a bit. Okay. Also, you want to be careful because you can see I've got ink on my block, so I have to be kind of careful there. There's really not a rhyme or a reason to this. It's wherever you like it. Okay? Now... That is all I'm doing on the inner liner. I'm going to go ahead and put it on my Misty Moonlight Mat. My Misty Moonlight Mat, the second one LOA. Anna with a Z. Oh, Anna with a Z. So, Zanna. Okay. Right? Yeah, because otherwise that wouldn't be right. So, Zanna. Thank you. I will attempt to never screw that up again. Hey, you guys, just so you know, I'm ordering catalogs on Tuesday. If you think you're on my list to get a catalog and you're not entirely sure, please get in touch with me so that we can uh, be sure that, that you are, okay? I don't want to miss you if I owe you a catalog. I think I've got everybody, but I want to be certain. 
Okay, now we'll just put this inside our card and then we'll decorate our envelope and it'll be done. And there we go. Now, quick doodah on the envelope. And what I'm gonna do here, so I'm gonna use some old olive and I'm gonna stamp the large tree from coming home right there like that and then I'm gonna stamp the small tree I think these look like Dr. Seuss trees so that's kind of what I think of them as Dr. Seuss trees <laughs> thank you Kathy <laughs> all right here we go and then some pool party snow again Oh, pool party snow. I'm gonna wipe that off, cause that's just, I mean, I'm just like saying, God, make me make a mess. Make me waste another medium white envelope. And then I'm just gonna put some of this around here. And yeah, I'll probably go a little crazy with them. But that's okay. I mean, really, I mean, if, you, if you're gonna have snow, it might as well be snowing, right? Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. I really like this image, can you tell? <laughs> it's just the bestest little snowflakes. I like it a lot. And I'm just gonna put them right in the middle of the tree because it's really blizzarding. My other one, it didn't blizzard quite this hard, but this one is really blizzarding. We're talking whiteout conditions here. Okay, there we go. Good enough. Good enough. Whoville, that's it. Whoville trees. Whoville trees. You guys watching Hallmark fit movies? Aren't we all? You know, all 15 plots, rever you know, rolled around into 680 movies a, year, a season with 15 different plots and 10 different actors and actresses. I don't know how they keep track of their lines when they are really essentially doing the same people, the same plot, but just slightly different lines every time. And I sound very critical, but the truth is I watch them. And have you noticed you can really tell because it's Hallmark, when the when the hero and the heroine kiss, it's over. That's it. You know that when they have the kiss, not the one kiss where they're like surprised that they've kissed each other, because they've they've got to do the we're surprised we've kissed kissed each other. Oh my goodness! And then they have to have the nano moment of conflict where there's a miscommunication, and she's mad at him and he's mad at her for like thirty seconds, and then it all gets straightened out usually by a kindly aunt grandmother or Santa Claus figure and then they kiss and it's over so see I mean that's pretty much all Hallmark movies rolled into one right there done oh I do want to watch USS Christmas because I'm pretty certain it'll be completely different but you know me I I do like the military I can't I can't lie even if they've Hallmarkified it and even if I'm going to say a lot, Wayne doesn't like it when I watch these movies that have the military in them, because I'll be like, no, 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 no. <laughs> That's not even sort of true. That would never happen. He's like, Mayor, it's a movie. I know, but still, they could have gotten a military advisor. I would have done it. I'd have told him that was criminy crappy. Okay, and there we go. Double easel. I know. Are you guys tired of me making double easel cards? I can't help it. I really, really like them a lot. I, I do believe they could be my favorite fun fold ever. Really. It's my favorite thing. Especially when you can make a little scene like that. It's like the Colorado Mountains. Woo! -hoo -hoo. All right, guys. I will. Let's see. This is Saturday. So, yes, I'll be back on Thursday at 1 o'clock uh, Eastern Time on my YouTube channel. Don't know what we're going to make, but it'll be something. And I hope you really enjoy it. So, have a wonderful rest of your weekend. I appreciate you spending part of yours with me. And thank you so much. Bye-bye.